for the balance uh, of this hour, we are going to be uh, joined by Ed Asner to talk about a host of issues uh, here in just a moment. But first, I want to tell listeners about, there's a lot of talk out there, but if you want to know the very best stainless steel, gravity-fed systems, tested, certified, side-by-side -side comparisons with the leading competition, go to InfoWarsStore.com. Filtering your water is the beginning of health for your organs, your body, your blood, the tap water, the well water, so much of it is just full of additives and toxic chemicals and fluoride. The list goes on and on. The biggest thing you can do for yourself and your family, your family deserves it, is get a pro pure system that blows the competition away at the lowest price at InfoWarsStore.com. Promo code water, you get 10% off. Just put water in the shopping cart, uh, code area, and you get 10% off the already lowest price, InfoWarsStore.com, or you can call toll-free and give the promo code WATER and ask about other specials as well, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139, or InfoWarsStore.com. And it's a win-win-win. We promote the very best products from across the board, that help people that also have the lowest price. So that's how we fund our operations is with goodwill type products, products that we use, that we believe in, that we promote. So again, InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. And finally, the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine, totally GMO-free, certified organic, GMO-free, third party and USDA, it is now available at InfoWarsHealth.com, discounted, and you can get free shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's also a toll-free number there on the side if you want to call and have any questions to ask, or if you want to sign up to be a distributor and get big discounts, uh, the toll-free number is 888. Again, we'll put that back up on screen, and I'll give that out for people. 888-636-9277, 888-636-9277. Thank you so much, guys, for putting that up on screen. I always get emails and see comments. What do you mean? You're always talking about put it on screen. We're not just on the radio right now. We are simulcasting free video feed while we can afford it. It's usually just for members at PrisonPlanet.tv. You have the nightly news for members. But the, the daytime radio show, three hours of it, the free iPhone app, Droid apps, podcast, video feed, Infowars.com forward slash show. And please get that URL and send it out to friends and family. That's the biggest way to wake people up. You know, when folks ask my political affiliation, I am a constitutionalist who believes in basic human liberty and freedom. I'm an individualist. But I also believe in the greater good and helping your community. The problem is anytime you try to do that and pool too big a resources, special interest will come in and take it over. And you can say what you want about the media misrepresenting over the years what Ed Asner stands for, but I've gotten to know Ed Asner over the years. We just sent one of our crew out there to a, to a charity event Ed put on to help autistic children. Uh, Autism Speaks. And Ed Asner is somebody across the board, uh, you know, who isn't just the box people put them in. I mean, if you hear about somebody like Martin Sheen, who I know pretty well, you'll hear, oh, that guy's a total liberal communist. And then you actually meet him and he's actually pro-organic, anti-vaccine, pro-liberty on a bunch of fronts and believes that some of the stuff that's pushed by the controlled left, you know, is the answer. But, but the point is, they're not opportunists. These are real people that really care. And they will criticize Obama for bombing Libya and Syria and backing Al-Qaeda when the fake right wing won't do it and is backing Obama. And so that's why I, uh, I wish I could have gone out there, but I already had a preset engagement from a month before. But Ed invited me out. I sent Rob Jacobson out to the uh, celebrity poker event. Uh, all the proceeds went to uh, autism uh, research and helping folks. And, of course, he's been the uh, one of the main hosts of the Mary Tyler Moore Show uh, as Lou Grant. Uh, hundreds of different movies and TV shows like Up!, that he did the voice of, one of my favorite good, wholesome movies. He was president of the Screen Actors Guild, and he was uh, born in 1929. So he, he, he has been out there doing a lot of stuff for a long time. Autism Speaks, uh, just search that, and you will pull up 
uh, the official site. We'll put that up on screen for everybody. But Ed spends a lot of his time. In fact, I know folks that know him most of his time, 100% giving to charity. Uh, so, so truly an amazing guy. I'm not trying to kiss his hind end here. It's just that he's a real humanitarian. Ed, uh, thanks for spending 20, 30 minutes with us today. I'll keep kissing. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. It feels so good. I know, but you are a good guy. Yeah. You are a good guy, too. Uh, so are we all good guys? Well, at least we try to be. I mean, that's the difference. We can disagree on some things, but we are trying to find the truth. I think we're trying to have justice. And I think as long as that's what you're shooting for, uh, that's the key. They don't want us to come together on what we agree about. They want us divided and conquered. And I got to ask you, what is your take on the George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin tragedy? Uh, what is your view on that? Then I want to segue into autism, uh, the wars, the NSA, all of it with Ed Asner. I, I did not make a deep and intensive study of that whole affair, uh, but my only feeling is that uh, it is a demonstration of how stupid and backward and weak Florida's laws are that, yeah, fine, you didn't convict him of, of uh, manslaughter, but uh, by God, the man did break laws by his trailing around, taking the law into his own hands uh, with a loaded weapon in his possession. I, I think it exposes Florida for its backwardness. Well, I agree that there's two sides to this, and I probably wouldn't have been following somebody around, uh, in, you know, in the, in the rain with a gun. And, and, and so I think that there is kind of a... Uh, cop wannabe angle there some people have said oh no he, you know he did nothing wrong i don't agree but i agree with jimmy carter saying the jury did the right thing because they shot for the premeditated murder instead of a lower charge why do you think they went for something they knew they couldn't get most legal analysts say well i suppose to uh, to be loyal floridians uh i didn't know that that's what that that they went for the, the whole ball of wax uh, if that's what they went for, then that's wrong. They were very wrong to have done so. Yeah, I mean, most people think they did it on purpose so that he 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 would get off. Yeah, and then it could be used as a political football. Shifting gears out of that, autism. We've gone from what one in twenty five thousand thirty years ago to one in sixty eight, one in fifty two, depending on the numbers. Some say it's overdiagnosed. I, I don't think that's the case. I see massive neurological issues in children everywhere now who haven't even been diagnosed with it the quirkiness the dis, you know the things and it's you know i have friends and family that have autistic children i know this has touched you as well ed what do you think's going on with autism bottom line and uh tell us about autism speaks listen if you've got frogs coming up with all kinds of different sexual aspects why why can our kids be affected in a different way exactly i think it's the environment and I, and I think it's the poisons that we spew in our water, in our air. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't even want to think about the poisons that were released uh, with the Gulf oil spill. What's in that water now? Uh, if we're, we're looking at the eradication throughout the world of, uh, of coral atolls, uh, there's poison everywhere. And... The, the policing of those poisons is, uh, is not occurring with the rapidity with which they infect our lives. Well, that's what all the scientists basically say, is that it's a cocktail of things, and that's how mercury and things in shots can push it over the edge. But they've got studies out now on the GMO corn that has its own pesticide in it, yeah. Uh, causing autism. I mean, look at look at Fukushima blowing up, and the cover up of that. What does the establishment think they're going to do when they are butchering the environment like this? Well, and 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 the the uh, the uh, the drugs that are constantly pushed into the food we eat, the chicken and the and the, and the beef, and and the excess whatever excess is shot into the waters we drink, 
and we're in, indulging and imbibing in all of those pharmaceuticals uh, that are given to our animals and the excess of those pharmaceuticals. So nobody, nobody's watching the store. Ed, I think that's the heart of it. We are a poisoned, we are a, a absolutely a drunk out of our mind on poison. Yeah. I, I think that's why society is getting so crazy. Well, and, and our children are affected. Oh, one in 68, one in 88, primarily boys. But frogs are similarly affected. Uh, the sexual, uh, the the sexual uh, 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 typing of frogs. Uh, uh, it, it's a back to disappearing, as we have heard. Uh, what, what's causing it all? Why? And and does anybody care? I don't, I don't think so. Now maybe autism has been in this in in this. Uh, intensity all our lives, and we really uh, shrugged it off and saying uh, he's weird, uh, he's a dummy, he's uh, he's addled, he's uh, he's a no show. Well, if you look at pesticides, the really bad ones that are out there that they allow to be used in the rat studies, the rats act just like we're acting. They have the very same disorders, the very same problems. And what's crazy is the FDA and the EPA are more and more allowing more and more of this in the environment. It's it, it, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we have a lot to suffer, and and we're we're suffering it to our grandkids right now. I uh, I have I uh, an autistic son. Fortunately, he's high functioning. And maybe he can survive in this world on his own. I don't know. We don't know. I have a uh, a grandson who is less high functioning, and he will need assistance all the rest of his life. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! So it is a scourge upon the land, and in your own family has has struck multiple people unbelievable yeah yeah i uh i have i have other grandkids who are adr uh which is new on the scene and um uh, hopefully it will um <laughs> it will uh be handled appropriately and effectively and they will be able to function in in real life I just had a friend who died of a heart attack at 57. Wow. He has three kids, two boys and a girl. Yeah, I saw a study, a uh, British medical journal study about a month ago. We can pull it up and put it on screen for TV viewers, where the headline was, 30 is the new 50, and they, th they went and looked at the DNA. We are accelerating our aging now. I mean, this is a huge crisis. Oh, really? I hadn't seen that. Yeah, well, they spin it and say, fit, you know, 70s, the new 50, like, oh, you're going to live and be young and all this. But when it really comes down to it, young people have been devastated by the environment. I mean, just devastated. Well, it's not just de devastated by the environment. Look at the food we're eating. Look at the salt that we're sucking up. Look at the fats and the additives in all of the... Uh, uh, ready to wear foods that we eat it is it is far from the simple fare you know I, there, there there was that wonderful study done on the amish just a few years ago and they found that uh, the amish in ohio and pennsylvania ate three huge meals a day none of them had heart attacks or or, or strokes or anything because on uh, quite often, each individual would walk 25 miles taking care of his land because he wasn't automated.
Absolutely, and there were no additives, and they have no autism. No autism, folks, because they're living an organic lifestyle right there. They say the meek will inherit the earth. Certainly the case with the Amish. We'll be right back with Ed Asner. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Ed Asner is our guest. We're going to start the next hour and go to your phone calls. Ed, what do you make of Jimmy Carter? Because you brought this up to me. I want to get your take on it. Saying America has no functioning democracy uh, on the NSA. Isn't the social contract broken? And uh, now the government's getting more and more brazen. Uh, the NSA last week told Congress and the courts, you're not allowed to oversee us. This is the tail wagging the dog. It's like Nixon saying it's not illegal when the president does it. What's your take on that? I, I think it, it, it's the uh, further proof of the marked step of the United States into a somewhat of a corporate fascism. It certainly is. And, and I love how the corporate profits are guaranteed with taxpayer money, but the losses are then also put on the people. God Almighty, let's make ourselves corporations and we can flaunt and flop around the world like uh, like uh, a character out of uh, Lost in Space. Uh, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, uh, That's for sure. Ed, front and center for you, What? what is, right now, what are you most focused on politically? What concerns you the most? Well, to tell you the truth, when I when I see the the march toward fascism, corporate fascism in this country, uh, it, it it's occurring in so many areas. I don't even begin to, to want to attack it because it's it's impossible. It, it it it's like a thousand legged spider. Uh, so I, uh, out of fatigue and out of failure, you know where to be effective. I don't do anything. I, I still preach the language of 9-11 and the scandal and the fact that that open sore will allow the corporate fascism to pro proceed in this country until the American people slap themselves awake and acknowledge that this was a great, huge governmental crime. And sections of government perpetrated this crime, helped perpetrate this crime, and 3,000 of our citizens die. And nobody is willing to face the truth on that. Oh, yeah. Take the uh, brother who didn't have a throat wound. They were clearly set up in the Boston bombing. They're killing witnesses. The brother worked for the CIA. I mean, it's incredible. And people are on YouTube going, you're a traitor, terrorist lover. And I'm like, he's pled not guilty. The media is saying he's guilty. The evidence is they were patsies like Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm not saying I'm glad he bombed people. I'm saying the evidence shows he's a patsy. They just can't get that in their heads, Ed. No, they can't. And they will accept whatever their government tells them. And as long as you're willing to accept every, anything and everything that the government tells you, you're going to be a patsy. What do you make of the open funding of Al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria now to engage in just mass homicide 
and our media admits it and basically says it's a good thing. Well, I, 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 I've been leery of that revolution from the beginning, and I think it's, it's a way to foment that area, and the potential of it is phenomenal because you've got the, the, the seedbed for a future World War III there. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, you, you, you've got you've got outsiding with the rebels, you know, from a, a slight distance, let's say, but arming them at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. Do five more minutes with us. One minute break. Come back. Closing comments from Ed Asner. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals. Now we'll remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. find North Korean hereditary dictatorships to be disgusting, and I find the British royalty to be disgusting. There may even be some nice members of it. I'm not saying they're all bad people, but the institution of monarchy, whether it's Saudi Arabia uh, or whether uh, it is uh, in the UK, and the fawning, and, and the way they use it as a diversion from all the big things that are happening. Ed Asner, former head of the Screen Actors Guild, uh, just in, I don't know how many hundreds of movies. Ed, how many movies have you been in? Oh, hell, I never counted, man. I'm what, afraid, what is... I'm afraid I come up... Uh, I'm not, I haven't been in as many movies as you think. Let's put it that way. What about IMDb? It seems like you've been in a bunch, and you've done voiceovers for a ton of films as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of voiceovers. But... Um, uh, I, I'm all over the place. Let's put it that way. What was your favorite film role? Well, I I I loved Daniel. I loved uh, JFK. Yeah, that was good. Really good. And uh, I loved Elf. Oh yeah. And uh, of course, you know, the thing that brought me uh, uh, scad to the tension and, and praise was uh, uh, up. Man, I tell you, uh, that is probably my favorite children's movie because there's so few that are truly wholesome. And and now I, it seems like Up almost led the way. I'm seeing more and more wholesome movies uh, for children. Is there a revolution in Hollywood or something happening? I would hope so. I'm leaving on Friday uh, to do a movie, a live-action movie in uh, Buenos Aires. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's on, uh, called The Games Maker. What do you play, like a, the a boss or something? What's that? What do you play in it? Uh, the, the man who originally or, you know, helped create games for children. It's a fantasy, so, so to speak. Oh, I got it. So it's, it's uh, sounded like an action adventure, but it's a, it's a children's movie. Well, I'll tell you, that's amazing. Uh, Ed, in the last two minutes we've got, do you have hope for humanity? I mean, what does your gut tell you is going to happen uh, I know this. We're in for an incredible ride. I I don't have much hope. I, I'm I'm a cynic, and I, I realize that 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 saves you a lot of effort, a lot of labor when you're a cynic. You can just sit back and say, "Oh, it's going to suck." <laughs> but see, you say you're not involved. You're doing charity stuff for autistic children and research. You're standing up against these illegal wars. 
You're speaking out against corruption. You're making movies. You're on, you're on my show. I mean, you're involved a lot more than 95% of people. I do it to be a bigger person. And I do it because nobody else will do it. If everybody was doing it, then I wouldn't be interested. Well, I tell you, I think apathy and the disease of arrogance, you know, it's one thing if you're apathetic, but if somebody, you've seen these arrogant people that don't care about anybody and they think they're getting away with it, not caring about their community, what fools they are. Oh, God, they, they are. And they'll, their heads will be the first to fall from the tumbrel. Well, folks can just search Autism Speaks and find the main site. We're going to put it up on screen for everybody and uh, it was great uh having uh rob jacobson out there to play poker with you guys he got some interesting interviews and also your very generous contribution well thank you so much yet I, I mean i think what you're doing is a very good uh, charity and i i, I do uh, give to good charities i don't ever really talk about it i know you do as well so uh we does it better than you nah <laughs> Well, you're just awesome, sir, and we appreciate you. And uh, keep on keeping on. And if you ever want a, ever want a, a platform, I know you've got your own platforms to speak to a couple million people. Infowars is right here for you, Ed Asner. A big fan of your work. Thank you so much, sir. God love. All right, I'll say bye to you in the break. We're going to come back with your phone calls, breaking news, and more. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the front lines of the Info War. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars nightly news, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.